Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Yavan and I'm the administrator of the Sims community website and today we will be talking about some brand new information that we got about the Sims 4 on PC as well as the Sims 4 on console. So that's right, we have new information for both platforms so let's just dig right into it. So first up we have more information that we got from yesterday's live stream where SimGuru Grant and SimGuru Kate explained some of the features from the latest gallery update as well as what they plan with the future for the Sims 4 and how they plan to communicate with us and share new information. SimGuru Grant shared some information about the gameplay, the gallery updates and what we can expect this year. We plan to keep supporting the Sims 4 for 3 plus years. I know I'm thinking about stuff for 3 plus years out, we're doing some nice investments on what we're up to. This is the first foundational step out of many gallery updates coming up this calendar year. As we said at the top of the stream, we're actually planning more updates for the gallery, some big ones later this year. I can't talk about them yet, they're in progress, they're pretty cool and we have a lot more plans down the road for the gallery like in years out because we have to port these changes to the console so that's right they are actually planning to bring the gallery to the console the current gallery with all the refurbished look and everything we want to make sure that we have the changes finished on the pc first so that we don't have to go constantly back and forth we plan hoping to support the gallery on console as well we want to make sure that we get things settled a little bit on the pc first so that we're not doing the work three or four times. And last, we know a lot of you who use the gallery who wish you could upload your own pictures, your own thumbnails. We know this, winky face, that's all I can say about that. So SimCrew Grant actually teased that we are gonna be able to upload and create our own thumbnails for our gallery creations on the Sims 4's gallery. I know that he didn't actually confirm that, but he did tease it in the live stream and I'm really looking forward to see how that turns out to be in the upcoming gallery updates. Next up, we have SimGuru Kate who shared more information information and how we can expect information to be shared about the sims as well as what they plan to do in the upcoming weeks, the live streams and so on. So first of all, we're gonna be working on some really cool things. We're gonna be looking at doing bi-weekly streams here on the sims twitch with our awesome sim gurus. We're actually gonna be popping in and playing the game and chilling out with you guys for a couple hours every two weeks. This is just gonna be something fun that we can do where you can get to know our gurus a bit better and you can watch us and enjoy the game like you guys are enjoying the game. Game. And we're also going to be starting something called Max's Monthly where we're going to be doing a one hour show every single month, probably around the end of the month where we're going to do a recap of all the awesome things that happened in The Sims over the last month, showcase some awesome player created content both in the gallery and in the community as a whole, and talk about what might be coming up in the next month. So this is a replacement for quarterly teasers, they're replacing quarterly teasers with these monthly teasers, and I think it's a much better idea considering that they're going to be sharing information about something that's coming up next month instead of having this quarterly teaser sure it's nice to know what's coming up in the next three months but we never know exactly when the pack is gonna come out so there was a lot of speculation with max's monthly we're gonna know what's being released next month or what's gonna be announced next month i'm not sure if it's gonna be for both releasements and announcements but what's great is that they're gonna be doing this for future updates as well so we're gonna be knowing more about future updates patches you know the little things that weren't so transparent before kate also said that we might start a little bit here in August but definitely look for these things to be coming in September and we'll be sharing a big schedule with you guys so that you can bookmark your calendar and make sure that you can tune in. Of course we're gonna be sharing all the latest information about Max's monthly The Guru Garage which is also a new thing where sim gurus are actually gonna be just playing the game and communicating with you guys over on the sims twitch. So that's also explained in sim guru Kate's thread I will be linking all of this information down below that you can check out so plenty of useful information about Max's monthly and the Guru Garage that you can check out. Next up, we have more information about the Sims for Cats and Dogs. So, the Sims for Cats and Dogs expansion pack is now finally available for both PS4 and Xbox One. In case you pre ordered the Sims for Cats and Dogs on PlayStation 4, then you probably encountered an issue where you weren't actually able to download the game after it's released. So, we got an update from the Sims team saying that simmers that pre ordered the Sims for Cats and Dogs on PlayStation 4 in North America, you should now be able to download the pack and the team by visiting the PlayStation Store and downloading it under the choose a version option and selecting the one labeled free or going to your library and downloading it from there. If you were faced with a specific issue with a specific error that I have shown in this article that you can check out, you may need to restore your licenses. So if you still have any issues, make sure you check out this article because it says a lot and Singuru Legacy. If you have any issues about the Sims 4 on console, make sure you tweet him because I'm sure that he's going to be very helpful to provide you with 
the solution. So The Sims 4's latest update has actually affected how you take screenshots in the game. I know, it's crazy, it's an issue, and I hope that The Sims team actually fixes this. So once you take a screenshot with The Sims 4's screenshot tool by just pressing C on your keyboard, well, these screenshots are now a lot more blurry. As you can see over here, the difference is really drastic. So the screenshot right over here is taken with The Sims 4, and the screenshot over here is taken with Windows 10's print screen feature. So you can see that the difference is really drastic, it's a lot more blurrier now. I'm not sure why, but I'm hoping that The Sims team fixes this really soon because a lot of people in the simming community depend on these screenshots and we just want our crispy screenshots to look nice and clean and smooth like in this screenshot over here, so I'm hoping that this gets fixed. I'm also seeing a lot of reports about the gallery user interface which is looking borked for some people. They're reporting that they're seeing these zeros for the count on friends, followers and downloads as well as getting this black screen when browsing through the gallery. Well, this issue is actually caused by the UI extension mod or some other mods as well which modify the user interface and you should probably take out these mods and wait until they get updated and then put them back in your mods folder because they are probably the reason why your user interface is acting up. Sometimes even removing these mods is not enough so you need to actually remove the local temp cache package from your save game folder so that's actually located in electronic cards the sims 4. It's actually safe to remove this because it gets regenerated every time you open up the sims 4 and I'm pretty sure that your game is gonna work after you do so. Last but not least the sims team has actually teased the arrival of the sims 4 laundry day stuff pack on the console so that's right they said console simmers get ready to get soapy they provided this laundry day gift and I'm pretty sure that the pack is gonna be announced any day now considering that they just started teasing it. I'm gonna make sure that you guys stay updated to all the latest news about the Sims 4 Laundry Day stuff pack coming to console, so make sure you check out all the news posts on the Sims 4 console news category that I will be linking down below. Well, that's about it for this video guys, let me guys know what you think about all the news and updates that we have about the Sims so far, let me guys know if you're enjoying the latest gallery update and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!